Welcome to the Nifty Chicks. In this episode, we chat with Leila Ismailova, who is the head of communication at Artisan, the Web3 digital fashion creative space and NFT platform. She's also hosting the House of Muse later this month, which is the exceptional crypto and NFT education and knowledge sharing event that unites women disruptors in crypto culture. Let's do this. Welcome to the Nifty Chicks. Hello, Minty Sal. Hi, JNFT. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. I am <laughs> excited fun. about this upcoming talk, I mean, chat and conference that we yes. are or have been invited to be a part of. Yeah, I'm excited for not only chatting with Layla, but also to be a part of the conference, which is going to be on July 20th and 21st. It's a two-day conference. What I love about this is that this conference is free. And I love that because so many people are just getting into the space who are unsure about how much they want to be investing and just stepping in. So like the fact that it's free and open to anyone, I think is super cool. And we get to be a part of it. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. So we obviously just chatted with Layla and we're talking about um, what our panel is going to be on. And it sounds like we're going to be doing something on collecting and investing in NFTs because as you can see, I have definitely become quite the collector, which That's means right. I'm yeah. also investing. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. It'll be a fun yeah. topic. And ultimately, she's just really cool. So talk about a really cool, cool human doing really cool things in for the yeah. for the space and in the space. So uh, I say let's bring her in. Let's do it. Okay. Welcome to the Nifty Chicks. I am excited to announce that we have Layla Ismalova with us today. She is with Artisant. Dot io is that correct and yes. she is working on an upcoming conference that the nifty chicks are going to be a part of called the house of muse conference and that is going to be july 20th and 21st so welcome to the show layla we're happy to have you here today thank you i'm happy to be here so, so I would love to kick it off with um, something that we always ask all of our guests because we all have similar yet different journeys into the space. I'd love to hear before we dive into kind of all the cool stuff that you're doing now and what you're, you have on the, the roadblock, what was your journey into NFTs and Web3 Web like? Oh, it is a great question because uh, my journey... Uh, was paved with dresses, beautiful dresses. That's something that I always loved. Fashion, um, since I was a little girl, it started my first career in TV. I decided to become a TV host because I thought that's the easiest way to wear beautiful dresses all the time. And <laughs> Not and, wrong, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it worked for me perfectly. And then COVID happened and, you know, there were less opportunities to go out. Um, and this is when I got into digital fashion. I just saw several designers posting digital garments on Instagram. And I was mesmerized because, you know, first you can wear it on social and still get this instant gratification from looking good. Um, and uh, on top of that, uh, the dresses were way cooler than real ones because, you know, they had like flames and wings and dragons spinning around the dress, stuff like that. So I reached out to one of the designers, her name was Regina, and she dressed me and we became friends. And here we are in two years working on the same project, Artisan. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's just funny because like, as you're talking about digital fashion, I can't help but think like, when someone's styling you or designing for you in digital fashion, it can really be anything you want it to be because you don't have to worry about lumps and bumps and the type of bra that you're wearing. And like, I don't know, it gives, like it, it's just going to fit you perfectly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, which honestly, isn't that what all of us women want? <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And I mean, there are so many great, 
points that add value to digital fashion. First, it's creatively limitless. Um, you know, a lot of physics do not work in digital fashion, mm -hmm. so you can create anything. Second, mm -hmm. think about all these designers who come from small countries, countries with like limiting laws and uh, culture that judges them for doing certain things and expressing th themselves through designs. Like we, we work with the designers from Africa, for example, for Muslim countries where, you know, people do not expect much from them creativity wise and they don't get a chance to get an internship in a couture atelier but just um one software uh, they can create any design they want and they can show it to the world and the world doesn't care that they come from um, a country that judges them for doing that uh, so this is an amazing angle and we have a lot of beautiful inspirational stories from designers uh cost wise of course to produce a digital design it costs way less so the entry point for designers is much much lower and so many people can do that and we can see that our community is growing day by day and so many designers join and try try this new way of expressing themselves and of course my favorite value of digital fashion is it's it's sustainability traditional fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world after oil it is responsible for 10 percent of carbon emissions in the atmosphere which is a lot and although you know fashion is beautiful it has also a very ugly side and uh it's very greedy and oriented to manipulate people into buying more clothes and feeling bad if they don't have something so i really think that the digital fashion partially solves this problem and can make all the traditional brands better I love that. And, and you know, you've touched on actually a lot of important key things right there in that statement you just made. Um, one on the environmental aspect, you know, so many people think of crypto as not environmentally friendly. And so we're up against a similar battle that fashion has. Um, and I think it's a it's a matter of narrative. But the other thing that you touched on that I think is really um, personal to me is because you're you're talking about all these incredible dresses that inspired you to get into the space. And here I am in a hoodie and a sweatshirt and Mindy in, in, in a t-shirt. And But you know what I love about the Web3 space? And, and that's actually something that I mentioned to Minty Sell before we stepped on stage at NFT NYC is that this is a space that really empowers us to be ourselves and to wear whatever we want to wear. And society yeah. is not welcome in Web2 world to allow us to do kind of that and be ourselves. And so I think um, you're touching on a lot of really cool aspects, but themes specifically on like, this is personal and you can make it personal and you can be whoever you wanna be and wear whatever you wanna wear, which is really incredible. Yeah, I agree with you. I really like the idea of Web3. And, uh, you know, being serious for a moment, I hope we will not screw it up because there are a lot of great ideas in the world that seemed so romantic in the beginning, but then, you know, big mining got in, some people got in that had may maybe had wrong intentions. And here we are, like first social network, Facebook now is stealing our data and manipulating us into buying things and, you know, causes young people anxiety and forcing them to do plastic surgeries and buying things that they don't need on Instagram. But the, at first, the idea was amazing, right? Connect with people, share your images, stay in touch, even after you graduate, things like that. So I really hope that this idea and this powerful technology that we have today available for us and the technology that we're building uh, will grow uh, in the community and only good people and honest people would work in it. And I think we are the gatekeepers. Um, yeah, and that's why I think it's very important because um you know in web 2 women have to fight for their place uh because initially it was built by men but in web 3 i feel like we already create side by side with men so this bad battle is not as evident and we have a chance to just establish ourselves as professionals and we don't need to even have to say like oh we deserve the same things as men because from day one we've been creating with men in this industry. And that's another thing that I really like about Web3. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. The, um, it, it's, it's so interesting because we've had the opportunity to speak to so many incredible women in the space um, and women in, in, in Web3 specifically, the NFT space. 
And um, the narrative is different, though. There are some people who feel like we um, we are still fighting for a seat at the table in the NFT space. I'm hearing from you that we have that seat. We just need to take it. And, um, you know, it, it, it's interesting to see that dynamic. Have you found the space to evolve even in the time that we've um, been involved since you started in the Web3 space? Have you seen a shift or are you seeing kind of where, where we've plateaued in kind of where um, women, how women are viewed in the space? Well, coming from TV and entertainment industry, I have to tell you that Web3 is doing way better <laughs> than this other industry. Like, So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm already happy. I'm grateful. <laughs> have I interacted with scammers and dishonest people in Web3? Yes, absolutely yes, <laughs> on every level. So of course, there is a grain of sexism. Of course, there is a grain of dishonesty. You know, I invested in funds who stole my that stole my money, right? Uh, maybe I've interacted a few times and had a few meetings when men tried to, like, you know, play the power card on me. But these are for me; these are more exceptional cases. And I just, you know, I just feel way more empowerment, and I feel very welcomed. And I feel like, you know, I'm judged on the value that I bring to the community. And so far, artisan. Um, hasn't had any issues because like we have female founding team female leadership and we've never had any issues a lot of companies Great. want to work with us but i also hear the stats that for example only five percent of nft sales were made by female artists so there is, and only i think 24 percent of crypto holders in the united states are women which I think, also, it was, I think it was 14, is it not? 14? Last I heard it was 14, maybe, I think. I will not be surprised, you know? <laughs> I will not be surprised. So we can still see that there is a lot of room for improvement. And I just like, you know, especially after NFT NYC, I know you attended as well. Um, I saw so many great women. I yes. saw so many smart, bright women that I decided to stop using the word empowerment. And... I started the, using the word celebrate and that's why the housing news conference that we are hosting is about celebrating women in Web3 and maybe inspiring those who need this, you know, additional push to get into this space and this, you know, encouragement to do so. Because yes, traditionally, I feel like, you know, women never operated with big amounts of money. Um, and, you know, traditionally, we didn't put ourselves on a line professionally for a very long time. So many, maybe some of the things are a little bit harder for us, but mostly on psychological level. I know we are fully capable of doing that. So I guess just collectively, we need to continue doing that. And I already see a huge progress. That's awesome. So one of the things that we, I feel like, have been talking about a lot lately in is that what are some actionable items that we can take to get more women aware of the space and interested in the space? And I definitely think that what you guys are doing with this conference and bringing, you know, digital fashion to, you know, hopefully to the masses eventually, but how, I guess, how are you reaching these potential women to make them aware and get them to the conference? Do you have like different tactics that you're using or is it, I mean, I know like you have Puma um, that's supporting you guys, um, which yeah. is amazing. What, what other like companies or ways are you getting the word out there? Well, uh, great question. Well, uh, crypto uh, checks also supporting, uh, sorry, Nifty checks also supporting us. I was looking at your t-shirt and I was like, is it oh, yeah. Nifty? <laughs> A little bit misguided. Okay, you <laughs> check. They're also supporting us, and you know, I'm happy that your or the audience will get to hear about the conference as well. Um, another friend of our conference is Coin Telegraph, which is a very big informational platform. They yep. already are covering our event. We're on their July calendar. They released an article about the conference. I just found that article. So, yeah, oh. good, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so we were using a lot of tools 
from sending out the newsletters to sending invites to the Discord communities, you know, of the uh, PFPs that we collect and, you know, our friends. And we really hope that all our speakers, they already started spreading the word, will continue doing that. And so far, we have a very good registration rate on our website. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And so okay. I, I think um, you know, all about the open conference, how some years. we're, we're going to be, um, we're going to play a role with you on this conference, but I'd love for you to just take a minute and explain what the purpose, what the mission, the purpose behind this conference, what you're hoping to achieve and, and why someone um, should be attending this. Of course. Um, as an artisan, First of all, of course, we're a business, so that's why we build a marketplace and we do partnerships and curated drops. But we also like bringing non-numerical value to the community. That's why every week we host classes for the designers, uh, because digital fashion is a very new space. And uh, a lot of designers come to us for education and knowledge. And on our platform, you can find a lot of materials like that. And I guess, you know... Lately, I remember I was with Regina in Berlin at the conference and we were talking that the market is not doing great um, and the, the sales go down. So maybe it's time to also expand and explore and see what, what can we do instead of just like sitting and waiting while the things get better, <laughs> right? And uh, while we were meeting a lot of amazing women and talking about our, our love for ancient culture and history, we came up with the idea of House of Muse, um, a conference for women that celebrates women in Web3. And it is inspired by Sappho, who's an ancient Greek poetess. She has a bright, beautiful voice. She wrote the most amazing, beautiful poems. And although she lived literally thousands of years ago, when you read her poems, you can relate, you know, so it, it's beautiful. She lived on the island of Lesbos and on this island, she created uh, a school for women and she called them muses. So that's why, that's where our name derives from, uh, from Sappho and her house of muse on the island of Lesbos. Um, so, uh, I, yeah, I guess this is why it was just an idea and conversation around the uh, situation and the world and just realizing that, you know, we have so many powerful connections and everyone is so eager and willing to share and to collaborate in Web3 that we don't want to miss out. And we want to bring this great women together and spend two days just talking, connecting and sharing knowledge. And so far, you know, we reached out to like the brightest people in the industry, as you can see you know, all the big platforms and big projects will be joining us. And um, we decided to create this conference for that reason. And I guess a little bit, what makes us a little bit different is that we decided to expand topics. Normally at crypto conferences, people talk about things like NFTs, promotions, marketing, PR, creating an art collections, maybe a workshop for designers, stuff like that. Uh, we decided to expand and touch base on, on the topic called wellness. And we broke it down into two separate parts. On day one, we're going to talk about emotional wellness of women and touch on our feminine side, where we will discuss how you can stay healthy and sane and feminine in a very, you know, harsh, intense environment where we sometimes get to work, you know, extra hours and we still need to, I guess, cook dinners for our loved ones, have kids, go out and have personal life. And like for me personal, it's very important because sometimes I lose this balance. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I have a feeling a lot of people in professional it's, industry. It sure is easy to do. It's easy to lose right? that balance. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in Web3 because things are happening 24-7 mm -hmm, without mm -hmm. days off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the market Always. never sleeps. <laughs> that. Yeah, I can see your reaction. You like that. And on day two, we're <laughs> going to touch base on financial wellness, uh, which is like more masculine side of women. Uh, because I'll, as I said, there is research that proves that women are like more shy when it comes to money, when it comes to negotiating salary. But we can see that like female designers always set a lower price on our marketplace for, on their art compared to male designers. So it's not a bad thing. This is just who we are. This is where we are. That's where we invite amazing speakers to 
talk about it and kind of help women to improve their wellness routines on both financial and emotional levels. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So is this conference for, I mean, newbies to the space? If someone, w- I'm, I, I question, like, if I'm very new to the space, would some of the information that's coming at me be over my head? Is this more for a refined kind of NFT or crypto Web3, you know, investor? Who's your ideal person to attend this? Well, I would say, I would say for people who are crypto curious, uh, I think uh, like the, that will be artists because we also host some workshops as well as people who want to make money and build a career in Web3 uh, on the investment side or creator side or PR and marketing side because we cover all these topics. Uh, since it's only two days, of course, you're not going to get in-depth information. So my guess will be that mostly people who are curious and new to Web3 will join us. But I will not be surprised that a lot of people who who's been already in this space will come to us as well. Because on top of, you know, having all, all the panel discussions, we're also going to have live sessions where people will be able to speak and ask questions. And we are also having right. hangout rooms where you can network and meet people. What I can say, people should awesome. be curious and love Web3. That's great. That's awesome. That's exciting. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, I, I'm i super excited to be a part of it, and I'm, I'm glad that you reached out to us on, uh, actually on LinkedIn. So you just never know who you're going to yes. meet on social media. Um, so, okay, the conference is... July 20th and 21st. Um, so people, I, we've got, we've got all the links. I'm going to go ahead and share, um, the, this will be the link for our show notes, which, uh, is the nifty chicks.io forward slash 77. And on those show notes, we'll make sure to link back so that people can go find out about the conference and get registered. Um, and then, Thanks. so the conference is going to be all virtual, right? Yeah. And is there anything special that they'll need for like getting into the conference or like for well, the... The only thing that uh, people who want to attend need is go on the conference's website and register. It's a 30 second process. It's very simple and that's it. You will get all the information on the email and all the all you need to do is just click the link on the day of the conference. That's it. I love it. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, we were so very exciting. lucky as a company. We, you know, we got support from great DAOs in the industry. So I think it's also our way of thanking the world and the community for being so supportive and giving back something that we, we can create together. Yeah. That's amazing. That. Well, good luck on that conference. I'm excited Thank that you. Nifty Chicks will be there and be a partner with you on that. Um, and how can everyone follow you specifically? Oh, I mean, there are many ways. I'm everywhere. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. I'm very web to old school person, so I still use my Instagram and I'm also doing Instagram for artisans. Please give me feedback. <laughs> it's like my baby. I'm really proud of it. Uh, so on both social media, my handle is I L E I L A 888. That stands for well, wealth. I love that. Awesome. Three, and eight, and yeah. we'll link, obviously, we'll link to those accounts as well in the show notes. So everybody yeah, can find thank you. you. Ladies. Yeah. And thank you so much for supporting the project. You see, this is how Web3 grows and expands. You just connect so with true. people. Yes, I saw your talk on NFT NYC. I didn't get the, the chance to meet you in person, but I was like, I'm going to find you online. <laughs> and I did, and here we are. So it's almost magic and definitely it's serendipitous. Everything happens for a reason. And yes, I'm very excited about your participation. It, it's, in the event. it's funny. It's funny that you say that just because uh, we just had another call with somebody that here's what I think, like social media can be, there's like the good side and the bad side of it. But if you do it right, if you do it properly. So true. Such good things can come out of it. For example, you reached out to me on LinkedIn and, you know, asked to connect, but you sent me a message and it said, 
I don't remember exactly what it said, but like you introduced yourself and you said, um, I, I saw you at NFT NYC. So therefore I automatically was like, okay, she, she's not just a spammer that's like reaching out to me and doesn't know anything about me. And then you said, we're hosting this event. I'd love to talk to you about it. So of course I'm like, sure, let's chat. Same thing. I was like interacting with somebody on Twitter and like Twitter, you know, can sometimes be a cesspool and you just never really know what you're going to get. And, but we were, I was like interacting and engaging with her tweets and liking her tweets. And then it made me go look at her website and find out more about her. And then I messaged her and was like, oh my gosh, I feel like we're the same. We need to, we need to chat. And so, I mean, there, there are definitely good things that can come out of social media. If you, if you are a, a nice person and be considerate and not like spammy and always, you know, asking for something in return that you're giving as well. So just my little, absolutely. A little rant on social media. And we are proving it right now by doing this podcast. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So, well, thank you so much for being on the Nifty Chicks and can't wait. Oh yeah. Being one of them. That's right. (laughs) It's right. Yes. Thank you for having me. And thanks of for supporting course. Cause of Me. So, Gen FT, I know at the beginning we gave a pretty good overview of what this conference is all about, but what did you think about what Layla had to say and how this all kind of came about? I just, I think it's really cool what they're doing. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, you know, there's a lot of people doing incredible things in this space, but she, with this conference, I think is is just taking taking charge. Um, you know, w- there's a lot of talk about what we could or should be doing to bring more women to the space, but she is like, you know what? Let's let's put a conference together. Let's like, let's make this happen. Let's partner with really awesome companies and let's make it happen. And she's doing it. Yeah, I love it. Definitely, we want to make sure everybody goes and gets registered for this free virtual event. Like there's no reason to not sign up for this because A, it's free and you can do it in your undies because it's virtual. So nobody (laughs) will see you. And you get to hang out with us even more. Right, right. I mean, that's like bonus upon bonus upon bonus. So Uh, so definitely (laughs) you want to go to the niftychicks.io forward slash seven seven that is where you are going to get all the show notes and it will have the links to go get registered and if you want to connect with layla that will be there as well and you know as always i have to mention to follow us on the socials you can find us at the nifty chicks the n-i-f-t-y Chicks, C-H-I-C-K-S. You can find us on all the socials, you know, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, you name it. Oh, we we may actually be on TikTok too. Oh, oh, okay. We may not have posted anything, but we may be there. <laughs> we will be there. So follow us because we will eventually be posting once we learn how to do that. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for listening to the Nifty Chicks. Always remember, invest in yourself. You are worth it. Please listen carefully to the following disclaimer. Neither the host nor the guests of the Nifty Chicks podcast are acting in the capacity of financial advisors. We wish to remain transparent and impartial to the NFT community at all times, and therefore, the content provided by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests are intended for general information purposes only. Nothing written or discussed by the Nifty Chicks hosts and guests should be construed or relied upon as investment, financial, legal, regulatory, accounting, tax, or similar advice. Nothing should be interpreted as a solicitation to invest in any cryptocurrency or NFT, and nothing herein should be construed as a recommendation to engage in any investment strategy or transaction. Please be advised that it is in your own best interest to consult with investment, legal, tax, or similar professionals regarding any specific situation and any prospective transaction decisions. You must do your own research when considering investing in cryptocurrencies or NFTs. We are simply sharing our journey with you as we learn more about the world of NFTs. Happy minting.